All right, guys, Model Rockets 321 here, back again with another launch today. I'm going to be flying the Phoenix missile on the E30T. Already have it ready to go, and also have an altimeter in there. The Jolly Logic altimeter 2 is inside, so I'm going to have some, um, some information about the flight, how high it went, and um, how fast it went. There's also more data, but I'll have to write it all down. I may not remember that, so we're ready for today. I also have the, uh, a sounding rocket with me, the Dalphoon. It's a scratch built rocket, and you'll see that one soon. And I have the UFO. So let's get to it right now. There it goes. Woo, parachute. T motor. Good flight. Coming now. I went way up there. <laughs> so here we go. First flight of the day. Phoenix missile. Coming down nice and slow under that 24 inch nylon. It's about to be a touchdown landing. And there we go. Yeah, so that was the E30T. It went pretty good. Um, nice boost, real quick flight. Should have some data on it. Should have some flight data. And the fin popped off. Under that big parachute, the fin still came off. So here we have it. Wow, fin popped off. So overall, a great flight. Here's the altimeter 156 miles an hour, 683 feet. Good flight, but lost the fin, so I won't be able to fly this one here again today man I had a big parachute on there and I thought that it would be that would be enough that tangled up so as we you can see we lost one fin great flight though hauled off the pad really quick got up there pretty quick on the E30T motor Lost an engine. I mean, not lost an engine, lost a fin. Broke off E30T motor. I wanted to fly this a couple of times. I had an F44. I really wanted to see the performance on that. But everything else is in, still in good condition. Have to glue that fin back on. And there we have it. All right, so we just had the flight of the Phoenix missile. Right now, I'm going to be launching a Dalphoon on a C113. Um, this is, this should, be a decent motor for this um shouldn't be a too high of a flight um i believe that the c113 has enough thrust and like nice, nice amount of boost for this rocket so we will see go three two one heads up there we go right over it's quick little launch nice I know another fin didn't break. I already got one broken fin today. Nice, yeah, C113 is not a bad engine. Oh yeah, engine, everything, everything's intact. Everything's intact, nice, low and slow. Smoke coming out. See the smoke. Yeah, C113, cool little motor. Let's see what we got as far as uh, data. So, look at that, 42, 42 miles per hour and 120 feet. Low and slow, like I said. Successful flight, that's what we want. And we have Marcy. Hi, everybody. 
Marcy's on launch control today. And I'm doing better. You're doing better, yes. Yeah, so last know. time you were five, four, <laughs> <laughs> three. No, no, let's hurry up and go. <laughs> there we go, Model Rocks 321, and we're gonna keep flying. Go. Right, folks next up we will be launching a UFO sending them back home ET phone home all right so there we have the UFO it's a quest kit and we're gonna send them up three two one Turn over, turn over. Coming down, kind of slow. Three, two, one. Woo! UFO, turn over, turn over. Coming down, kind of slow. That's what it's made to do. Cool. Didn't flip over, but nice flight. Roswell, New Mexico. All right, so after a pretty decent day of flying, um, a couple of injuries on the field today. As you saw, Phoenix Missile um, suffered a broken fin. Fin snapped off, so I usually do my fillets pretty pretty thick. I'm gonna um, go back and reinforce all of them. I'm just gonna run a line of epoxy down all, all the lower ones especially. These top ones should be fine. Um, here's a fin right here snapped off and you can see some little some of the crease marks right here which I'm not worrying about this is gonna be a flyer um, you can see that, that red is my um, putty that I use to fill in some of the gaps and stuff like that I had to build up some of this so um, overall it's pretty good I'm probably gonna go with a bigger parachute so I'm gonna put a 36 inch nylon in this one now since that was a 25 or 24 and it still got that um, snapped off thin because it landed in the hard Arizona dirt so it hit that pretty hard and the fin snapped right off um, other than that everything was fine a little little bruise here to it but I'm gonna fix that up and I'll be flying this again soon and after that I did my Dauphin which is this scratch built French sounding rocket built it from saw scratch built I built it from some plans I just um, you know, got the blueprints or whatever and I flew it on a C11 C11 3 engine Real low and slow flight, just like I wanted it. Here's a C11 burned out. This is the one that I flew it. And I had to use the spacer in there because I have um, the longer motor mount in this one. And the altimeter is still, still showing what it did. It was um, 42 miles per hour and 120 feet. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But... So I like these little things. It's the uh, Jolly Logic altimeter too. I can turn that off now. And there's more data in here too. You can get the um, total time, flight time, everything. It's a bunch of other stuff you can get out of these. These are pretty cool. Just attach it to, to the shot cord, to the line near the top of the cone, and you'll get data. Have it set, and it senses when a rocket takes off. So that was that. Um, then I flew, which was a fun one that I really enjoyed, um, was the flying saucer. I still got the motor in there. But I flew it twice, so I've got some nice photos and nice launch photos. I mean, nice launch video. It's a C60. You don't want to um, delay on these. So, um, yeah, so it flew. First flight went great. Second one came down, snapped the leg, broke the plastic piece, which is easily fixed. And like I said, I'm going to reinforce these with epoxy also. Um, but it's a cool, cool little flyer. Nice performance. Nice design, too. I like this one. I had years ago, I had the SDs. Um, Space shuttle, um, space shuttle, flying saucer when it first came out back in the 80s. As a kid, that was one of my kid kid flights. I think there's a picture somewhere of me with that one. So I'll just reattach these guys, um, or this guy back on, and I'll have it back up and running again. Right now it just sits, on, it sits pretty crooked when you sit it down. But other than that, everything else went great. So the C60 motor all burned out. So you can, um, but overall everything was, um, 
it was still a good day, even though with these minor um, damages to legs and stuff like that. It still was a good flight, good day, fun getting out there. And we'll have more content coming. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more um, for Model Rocks 321. Also, the Instagram is Model Rocks 321. And check the links below. We got a little shop with some t shirts and stuff. Those are all from paintings and art that I do. So I will see you guys on another video. Like, share, and subscribe.